Hello, my name is Sabin Mahmood Khan, and today to the topic of my presentation is about Aston Martin Omega in subject to the international business and global strategy. So, Aston Martin, I need to first I need to tell about Aston Martin Omega background. So, it was established in 1947 with the combination of two historical brands. It belongs to the high luxury car product segment. So, their competitors are Bentley, Rolls Royce, Ferrari, and uh, uh, Ferrari and Lamborghini. So famous, uh, famous they Aston Martin is basically famous for uh, their design and their technical deceptions, technological advancement. So if we come to the next, uh, here is the main thing: corporate strategy. The corporate strategy is customer focus, uh, luxury products produce. Uh, so improve process. They can improve process by world class by providing world class value to the customer by taking uh, by giving them top quality products and. Uh, uh, by ending management so their market is basically rich people and they also uh, corporate social responsibilities on their high priority product strategy for uh, Aston Martin is a uh, hybrid strategy called uh, they are basically combination of cost strategy and differentiation strategy they are achieving cost strategy, uh, cost leadership uh, with uh, backward integration by producing their own uh, products and um, they are uh, achieving differentiation strategy by producing unique uh, unique products by their design and technology so here is the business model of the uh, aston martin and uh, because uh, basically business model of aston martin is to be in the world's uh, uh, most uh, world's most beautiful uh, great british car uh, company that creates most beautiful uh, you know beautiful and technology and they are famous for their technology and uh, design so they need to uh, be the great british car in the world so after looking at business model and look uh, we are looking at international internal analysis there are some weakness and opportunities for the uh, Aston Martin physical resources they have less distribution system this is the weakness as you can see here uh, product line short portfolio of product and limited products in market that are uh, basically weaknesses of opportunities if you come to the opportunities uh, financial resources there are 1.0 uh, billion turnover you know human resources highly efficient uh, twin turbo engine in DB11 you know produce performance and efficiency design is very safer stronger and uh, efficient so uh, after internal analysis we look at external analysis by Porter's five forces so threat of new intent is very low and threat of uh, substitute is also low because uh, high initial investment is required for the new intent and technical disruption and rapid sale drop is a drawback for the substitute so supply power uh, high supply power and buyer power is also high so basically few, few suppliers uh, producing high quality products in market and buyers potential buyers more have more information about the product if we come to the uh, competitive rivalry high rivalry uh, because exit barriers are very uh, low and uh, high uh, well established industry and high investment required to enter the market and exit as well strategic there are some strategic decisions we made for the Aston Martin after looking at internal and external analysis uh, perfect performance of car and technical they use the design and te technique uh, technical advantages for the enhancement of customers so need to increase scale of uh, mass production they may go for the mass production because their product line is very low one and short portfolio increase marketing efforts through market penetration and uh, advertisement so they need to pay close more attention to their uh, and their competitors uh, like how they are achieving economies of scale so that's my part uh, my other colleague is coming to move, move forward hello my name is yoji wang i will talk about the product and the service uh, Aston Martin DB11 is a supercar owned by Aston Martin. The first product of Aston Martin and uh, uh, Mercedes Benz um, Corporation. Uh, service um, Aston Martin high end high end customized service 
Uh, it can change the uh, appearance of exciting external change model or building a new model from scratch. Um, as long as the user has enough uh, in management and the financial resource, uh, no uh, customization is impossible. Mm, China's support can can market as a state of West of to many stars, many support car. The prices and the performance of the DB11 for meeting the customer's car dream of all uh, support cars. Yeah, uh, potential for expansion into a new market. Uh, in 2017, at the market, uh, the global sales uh, generated a uh, 40 Eighty percent year one year, year one year. Uh, the China the Ch the Chinese market performed at the par uh, particularly uh, well uh, with annual sales of eighty nine percent and the significant market share gain, uh, which provided a strong, a strong, uh, both to at Martin global uh, performance first. Uh, in the case of China, uh, China and the United States, uh, these two, uh, yeah, and um, these two continuous world tries because they are have a large a number of West famous uh, families. Uh, Chinese cheap labor force uh, allow uh, allowed the merchant to process product at a low price. The emergency of the DB11 had. Had gave uh, at much more opportunities in the support card market. People can buy cars of the same uh, quality at a low price, uh, giving DB11 a great uh, competitive advantage in the United and uh, and China. DB11 can make people in the media of the United States and China able to afford a uh, support card to meeting their dream of all. Uh, of owning a sport car. Thank you. Hi, my name is Ray Fenghu. And this is the part I will talk about the uh, international competitor. Uh, uh, from uh, Aston Martin DB11, there are three uh, international competitor. It's uh, about the uh, Bentley Continental uh, uh, GT, uh, Porsche Paramina, and uh, uh, Jaguar F-Type uh, SVR. Uh, this three car is, uh, has the same level uh, with DB11. Uh, next part, uh, I will talk about the international experience and the international uh, structure. In 2013, uh, uh, Aston Martin signed, signed a deal with Daimler AG, which own a uh, uh, 5% stake in Aston Martin to supply the next generation of Aston Martin cars with Mercedes AMG engine. Mercedes AMG, AMG also was to supply uh, Aston Martin with electric system. Uh, the first model of uh, the first model to support the uh, Mercedes Benz uh, technology was the DB11. In this part, I will talk about the top two markets analyzed. Uh, uh, after our research, uh, we find the top two uh, markets: China and India. Uh, starting from 2016, Aston Martin uh, plans to uh, present a new sports car every year and they will make a, a product plan according to the demand of the uh, Chinese market. With the rap rapid development of the Chinese economy, China rich class is growing uh, the rap rapidly. For now, the uh, uh, market is uh, India. Uh, uh, because the uh, British lo uh, lo luxury uh, brands are very, very popular in India, and Indian customers tend to buy British brands when they buy uh, luxury cars. Uh, the last part is the uh, intermodal. We chose the uh, director uh, expo exports uh, because there are many adventures. Uh, firstly, the control over uh, selection of uh, foreigner uh, market and the choice of a foreigner uh, representative company. Second is good information feedback from target market development in a better relationship with the buyer. Third is um, better uh, protect, uh, protection of track, uh, track marks and uh, trademarks and uh, uh, patients 
uh, goodwill and the other uh, interval uh, pro property. Uh, the last uh, point is uh, potentially a greater sale and uh, therefore greater profit uh, than with uh, in indirect uh, exploiting. That's all uh, about uh, our presentation. Thanks for watching.